Welcome to Veg and Tips. Today, we'll show you how to use combined moves for robots and actuators in machine logic. I'll be demonstrating this on the pick and place robot cell seen on screen. And with that, let's get started. Looking at the first step in the machine logic tab, you can see that the system has already been configured with an enclosed actuator, a belt conveyor, and a FANUC CRX as our robot. To start, we'll move over to our preset application. However, if you're curious about how to create a new application, I invite you to check out our intro videos on machine logic and robot programming. The robot paths that we'll be using can be found under the Robot Assets tab in the left pane. With these robot paths and additional child sequences, our goal is to have the robot pick up the box from the conveyor, move to a preset location along the seventh axis, and drop it off in the appropriate childing slot. One thing to note about teaching robot waypoints on your digital twin is to make sure that the robot is in the exact same location in Machine Builder as it would be in real life when executing these movements. We'll complete our child sequences by first creating a function that will home our robot and actuator. In other automation designs, you would normally home the actuators first. However, since we have a robot in the design, we'll be homing the robot first. We do this to ensure that the robot does not come in contact with its environment as a 7th axis homes. We'll have these commands execute in series, however, it is possible to have robot paths and other machine logic commands execute in series or in parallel depending on how you'd like your program to run. To have them run in parallel, you must nest your robot path within a child sequence and have that called from the main sequence using an execute in parallel command. To show this, we'll nest our cruising position robot path within a child sequence. Now that our child sequences are fully built out, we can go back to our main sequence and build the program. If you would like to see the final program, you can find the link to this design in the description below. With the system complete, we can press play to see it run. You'll notice that after the robot performs the pickup sequence, it will then execute the actuator move and robot cruise position simultaneously. This is because the actuator execution command was set to run in parallel with the subsequent machine logic commands. And this is how you can simulate robot and actuator moves at the same time. And with that, we've completed the video on combined moves with machine logic for robots. Thank you for watching and happy designing.